So I've always been into wine. I had that opportunity and that access to be around really good food and really good wine. So when Gene and I met, it, it seemed like the perfect couple. Wine has always been a big part of Kate and Gene Arnold's life. So finally they thought, let's do our own. Gene had the experience and we both wanted to kind of create really good wines without a lot of preservatives or additives. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the way that we've kind of had this farm to table attitude and we tried to do the same thing with the wine. We actually met over a glass of wine. That's what I heard. Yeah, in Charleston, South Carolina. And we just thought we could do this better and reflect a quality wine with quality grapes and sell wine to people that were really interested in how grapes and wine was made. It's not hard to grab a bottle of wine these days. There are thousands of options. But even with the high volume, they feel like theirs is different. The reality is it's like most industries. You know, there's consolidation. There's several large companies within the wine industry that have the majority of the space. And we thought that creating wines from California, Oregon, and Washington, that we create, could create wines that were very specific to the vineyard, reflected the fruit in the vineyard, which candidly is different than the way most mass wine is made. Mm -hmm. So we thought there was a space for us. They have vineyards in California for their Sauvignon Blanc. And if you're making Pinot Noir, you better grow and manufacture in Oregon. Oregon for us is really our, our base of operation. And Oregon is all about Pinot Noir. And Pinot Noir from Oregon is all about purity. 100% Pinot Noir, dry farm, low yield fruit, so you get higher quality wine. And that's really what's put Oregon on the map is the expressive nature of the Pinot Noir and the high quality of, of Pinot Noir from Oregon. Lucky for us, Kate's originally from Worcester, Ohio, so she can come home to see her parents in the summer and do wine tastings, like the one at the wine cellar and lounge at the Grand Resort. It was a nice, it was a nice opportunity to see mom and dad and then also get some wine tastings in and kind of advocate for the winery too. We really like to watch people and as the light bulb turns on, we think we've done our job. You know, if we leave a wine dinner or a wine event and people are more educated and more curious about the industry, then I'd leave very satisfied. The tasters are satisfied too, but it took a little while for the Arnolds to feel comfortable bringing their wine to complete strangers because everyone's palate is different. Honestly, the first six months, yes. And I, I initially took it personally, but I think ultimately what you have to concern yourself with is you know, I'm not going to tell someone what to wear. I'm not going to tell someone what to drink. If we make the wine with quality, and we know that there's quality throughout, whether it's from the grape growing or from the wine production, ultimately, we're very confident that within all the portfolio of our wines, there'll be a wine that someone will ultimately will enjoy. Confident enough to put Kate's name right on the bottle. Kate's involved more on the business side of it. And I, we named the wine after her out of respect for her because she has a full-time job, obviously raising our soon-to-be 16-year-old daughter. And if you look at wine brands throughout, there's very few female-oriented wine brands out there. And her being an integral part of the company, we thought it was a better option to use her name as opposed to my name. It's pretty, it's pretty sharp. It's a great Christmas gift, right? To, yeah. to come in with your own name on a bottle. Sometimes it can be a little, I'm, I think I'm probably pretty shy too. So um, it took a little while to, to keep seeing my name on a bottle. The company and the wines have only been out for about five years, but so far the reviews have been great, and it all goes back to how they make it. It's relatively new, but people really like it. It's an, uh, Gene will go into more of, of the winemaking process, but it's a very old world way of making wine. Mm -hmm. So we're not adding sugar. Um, so people are really enjoying it. People love to drink wine. They like to go out to the West Coast. They like to go out to Europe. So um, the experience and, and the response has been really good. And everything that we do is all about the provenance of the fruit and wine, which ultimately equates to higher quality. Mm -hmm. So I think for the price, we, you, you can't beat our quality. No, it's not. It's I, cool. It's cool. It works well. It works well. Again, yeah. sometimes I kind of blush a little bit, but I, when people like our wine, it, it makes me feel good because then the hard work that we're putting into it, it all makes it worth it.